guy, what he says, yeah. what, what he <laughs> said <laughs> beside the road. Now, with this crisis now, this this one we are having, it means that Cameroonians are finished. <laughs> you know, not an easy thing. Cameroonians are really finished. Because at least the government, I think that the, the everything solution to all, the, all of these things just lies within the hand of the government. The government to see how they can do things to ensure that uh, everything goes effectively. And we are due respect. Permit me just conclude by with this issue uh, that happened with the, on the pic with the pictures of uh, pres president of the CRM political party, President mm, yes. Kampa, to because really, uh, uh, it's unacceptable that in the, state, in the state of law, I see people behaving as such. Because whatsoever it was done at the uh, Eden Yaoundé with pictures of President Professor Murukam, so apart, apart from his personal, his fiscal integrity, right of the fiscal integrity being violated the, the what they were doing there was act of witchcraft to me so that's a complete out of witchcraft which is punished by section 251 of the Cameroon penal code how do and you prove time, witchcraft they, practice how will you prove it i'm telling you what the fetish practice when the, the law is very clear when you read the section 251 of penal code you look here about this fetish practice that is done what is done in public that may affect public peace and tranquility and all the like so those are the kind of things that are not acceptable i still so this, this is, is, some people have interpreted this as as targeting a particular community of course this is targeting when you take somebody from your own community people take people from your community and say they are burying the person do you know what it means and we, this government will make sure that do everything possible to make sure that these people are arrested. Just all those chiefs are arrested and prosecuted. We are in a state of law. I don't know what is happening in Cameroon. We sit on a day, 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 day on a day light like this. I see people go about doing so much type of very terrible things, and yet there is this institution those are that's supposed to do this thing. They remain silent. But Maybe what if happens if the same institutions are, are the, the, the ones behind this? this that's thing. where the problem is coming from, and that's the more reason why they are now. protecting them. Because had it been it was those of the CRM party doing against CBTM, Mr. Atanga would have rushed to the place and you hear him arresting people or come out clearly opening his eyes and begin to insult people, telling them how they will grind them as Molinets and all the like. So we are not the state of law, and then we should be using intimidations and all the rights to frighten camera allow camera allow people to do things peacefully when someone does something that is not right at least make sure that the, uh, this person is called upon for, for questioning so we are calling on these chiefs to be arrested we're calling on the authority of Cameroon to make sure they arrest all these chiefs to carry out proper investigation know exactly what i said what, what happened and if they found that these people are guilty of this witchcraft i'm talking about an issue of hate that they have done to the, the image of Professor Muri Kamto, they should be arrested. Camera that money's exchange hands before this act. Of course, that's what we learned from other sources on the ground, that there's, there's one of these chiefs that went and, and was given money by some of the top CBT, of course, top CBT because they are members of the government and we are top CBT and young, young people, who they are using this to, to at least to, to, to make sure that, to call, to maybe to make, give Kamto a bad image so that they can continue to, to do whatsoever they are doing. So they said that money was given to one of the top, the chiefs who are involved in these things, and he took it when he took the money, the money was also distributed, shared it to some of his close, close collaborators. And later on, when they find out that this is what happened, that the money, maybe the man took the money and gave them a very small little share of, of the money, and they started another fight within, within them. Those, those are the kind of things that the government in place is using sardine and oil. I don't know if it's, which, if it's too much sardine oil that is confusing some of these chiefs or whatsoever. I don't understand what is happening in this country. Thank you, Tante. Thank you for coming. Thank you to Televiewers of Media Prime for watching this other edition of the program. We will be back tomorrow for the third edition of the program for the week. The program for today was produced for us by Christine Tebo, Etape Kanten, and myself, Lasha Kingsley. We're here for the presentation, wishing you a great day ahead. Bye-bye from this end.